smartphones have evolved a lot these recent years. If you buy a flagship nowadays, chances are it will cost you a lot of money, but it will be a good phone for many years. While companies release every year newer smartphones, those who got replaced quickly drop in price. Samsung is one of those companies that releases a lot of flagship phones per year, and whose old phones always get price cuts. In this video, I'm going to show you 5 old Samsung flagships that are still worth considering in 2021. For this list, I am only considering phones that are more than a year old. The Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus is now 3 years old, but I think it is still a very good device. It has a premium build quality made of glass and aluminum. It has a 6.2 inch Quad HD Super AMOLED display and I think it is still better than some of the mid-ranges of 2021. Sadly, the S9 Plus won't be updated with Android 11, and the Exynos 9810 is starting to show its age. It does also miss an ultra-wide camera, but the cameras that are present are still usable. With night mode, they are better than they were when this phone was first launched. The battery is acceptable, even though it isn't a strong point of this phone. The biggest reason to buy this phone in 2021 is the price. The S9 Plus can be found in a very good condition for around 250 bucks. In my opinion, the S9 Plus is the furthest back you should go right now if you want a good experience with an older phone. Released in 2019, the Galaxy S10 still remains one of the best Samsung phones ever. The S10 was a big step forward for Samsung. The S10 was the first phone to have a camera cut out in the display a trend that is still actual in 2021. The S10 has also a premium build quality made of glass and aluminum. The display maxes out at 6.1 inches, and it is Quad HD. A big plus for the S10 is the Android 11, and it will be updated with Android 12 too. Performance is also better compared to the S9 Plus. The cameras of this device are also very refined, and one of them is an ultra-wide. The battery, however, is weaker compared to other phones on this list. Prices of the S10 vary from 300 to 350 bucks, and I think if you want a compact Samsung device in 2021, the S10 should be one of the choices. The S10 Plus is the bigger brother of the regular S10, and in my opinion it is a better buy. The S10 Plus has a 6.4 inch Quad HD Dynamic AMOLED display. The display of the S10 Plus is incredible even in 2021. Another difference with the S10 is the battery. The S10 Plus has a much larger 4100 mAh battery, which is more than enough for most of the users. On the front, the S10 Plus does also have a second depth camera, but in my opinion it is just a waste of space. Other than that, they are the same, but the larger display and the bigger battery make the S10 Plus a better phone. Even after 2 years, I am still impressed how good of a phone the S10 Plus really is. It has a big display in a form factor that feels very good in the hand. For a price just under 400 bucks, the S10 Plus offers an amazing value for money. The S20 Plus is the successor of the previously mentioned S10 Plus and it improves on that device in almost every category. When it comes to the build quality, the only thing that isn't as striking for me is the camera design, which doesn't look as good as the S10 Plus. On the front, however, the S20 Plus looks much more modern with even smaller bezels. The display is also bigger at 6.7 inches, but the device still feels very good in the hand. The display of the S20 Plus is 120Hz, but when using this feature, it lowers the resolution at Full HD. Inside it has the Exynos 990, which was criticized a lot, even though I think most of the critics were undeserved. The S20 Plus never had camera issues like the S20 Ultra, so camera quality still remains very good. It has also a very respectable 4500 mAh battery, and it will get you through a day. Overall, the S20 Plus still remains an amazing device, and a very good alternative if you don't want to spend a lot of money. You can find this device under 600 bucks, and for the features it offers, it is totally worth it. In 2021, the Note 10 Plus is still one of the best devices Samsung has ever made. It has a gorgeous design that looks and feels amazing even two years later. The display is also incredible even today. It has a 6.8-inch dynamic AMOLED display, 
with a Quad HD resolution. The only thing missing here is a higher refresh rate. It isn't as fast as 2021 flagships, but the Note 10 Plus still performs very well. The cameras on this device are also very good, with the zoom being its only weak point. It has also a 4300 mAh battery that can get you easily through a day with a single charge. It has also the S Pen, and it packs all the features of their later implementations. The base storage of this device is 256GB, compared to 128GB of previous devices on this list. Where I live, the Note 10 Plus costs around 600 bucks, and I think it is worth it. If you want a device that offers you almost everything for half the price of 2021 flagships, then this device is the Note 10 Plus. This was my personal list, but I would like to hear your own thoughts in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Thank you for watching.